on power. This is really coming to uh, perhaps maybe uh, a new reckoning for you. Um, seeing things in new light. This really gives you a sense of um, intuition, following your 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 path as far as spirit spiritually. A uh, candid spirit. You might have friends around you, uh, even loved ones that are maybe helping you towards a new beginning. Um, and peace. So maybe going towards something that is going to bring you peace in your life. This is also a sense of a new beginning, uh, ending cycles for yourself. It could be difficult stuff. Maybe you're finding your power. Perhaps that power has been taken by others or just old way of thinking. Um, something like that. Let's see. That's definitely what I feel. It, it's def definitely a sense of being enlightened. Um and it gives you a sense of a new direction. At the bottom of the deck is choice. So this is interesting because you have many paths that you can take. And perhaps you might be on this place of not knowing which way to go. I do feel like there's people surrounding you um, that can help you. Whether they're loved ones or friends. Or even just a really a kindred spirit. Somebody that you just feel really bonded to. Um, but there's almost like you're asking questions. You're asking about which way to go, I feel. Um, at the top of the deck is the shadow self. So you're doing some kind of shadow work. That's definitely what I feel here. Meaning, you know, you might be going through this time where do you stay where you're at? Do you go forward? Do you go left? Do you go right? What do you do? You're looking for answers is what I feel. But you definitely have to do the work. You have to do the shadow work, okay? Um, and that means surrendering, it means giving up things, it, it means, you know, um, really having believe in yourself, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Oh boy, it's a big umbrella, really. Um, so let's see. Welcome, guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. And um, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, let's see, Father. Oh, I was praying before this, so I'm talking to Father right now, which is God for me. Um, but let's see, Spirit, what is what is the energy for today? What is the energy for today? Whenever I pray, I always say Father. So I don't know if you guys do that, but you. Uh, let's see. You have the Ace of Cups. So this is about starting over. Um, pretty much getting that gift from from God, really. Um, of a new direction meaning even if you haven't had love or you felt like somehow isolated from love before it's almost what i see is like a gift coming to you um and this is also telling me to tell you it's like don't give up your hope there's a sense of hope uh maybe losing hope okay but there's definitely a sense of keeping that faith and that that um drive going Maybe you're looking for love. Maybe this is a new opportunity to meet somebody new. Um, you know, but I also feel like the Ace of Cups is about you doing that work, you doing that shadow work. So have you done the shadow work already? And now you're to the step where, you know, you're, you're getting abundance, abundance and love. I definitely do feel the cups are about emotions, love, satisfaction. So very beautiful. And that... I think that what they're trying to tell you is that with the power being there and the Ace of Cups coming out, it's like, don't give up, okay? Find your power, your power and your drive and your faith, okay? You got the King of Wands and the Hangman. So, see, this is where maybe you're questioning taking charge in something. Uh, if this isn't you, it could be somebody that surrounds you. It could be something in your environment, a situation, um, or something that you're wanting to start get. It's almost like you're hung up. It's it, maybe you just you're not sure. You're not sure about something. Uh, King of Wands is that energy of really. I feel that you want loyalty. Um, you want something to work. There's also a sense of building something. Maybe you're trying to build something new with someone or within a situation. Maybe change or tweak is a situation, okay? And perhaps maybe you're looking for a way to do it. Maybe you're looking for answers. You could be getting help from other people as well. Um, what is the hangman? This also could mean maybe, you know, this person you could be separated from. You could be somehow at a distance from somebody. 
what is the king of wands okay so let's see here we have um the temperance and the hermit and so they did fly, fly out in reverse so there's really a sense of um maybe not taking charge you know um not going through the motions are, are you feeling insecure about something or are you feeling unsure or uncertain um you have great cards here so maybe this is a person who who needs to do the shadow work and needs to release things in order to be able to go down that new path because there is definitely a sense with these two these are majors they're very influential in your life you're trying to get balanced um and perhaps follow a new path but with them in reverse, I definitely do see the hang up. It's almost as if maybe this is something so new for you. You just don't know how to go about, um, you know, not having conflict inside of you, not thinking negative, um, something like that. So it, it's something that you're trying to battle. You're trying to fight something that's getting you somewhat maybe um, even a little melancholy, I feel, or maybe a little bit depressed or... A sense of um, not being able to move from something but yet maybe there is a desire to move because I definitely do feel with the ace of cups this is a gift that's coming for you um, so very interesting let's see what the hangman is okay what is the hangman what's the hangman please what is the hangman okay so you have the nine of cups see it, it, it's it's like okay oh wow okay you got the two of cups the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles are are you longing um now that i see the two of cups here and the kindred spirit up there are you longing to be with somebody that is a kindred spirit for you that is a wish fulfillment are you wishing for yourself to come into this place where you're balanced enough and you have moderation in your life that you maybe meet somebody new um, you know, this is almost like a wish come true to come together with that partner. So maybe you're really trying hard to find this partner and it's not being given to you. Um, and it, it could cause a sense of sadness and, and that sense of melancholy that I feel uh, because maybe you feel it's not going to happen. Maybe you're losing hope that you're going to find somebody for some of you guys, okay? If it's not a person that you're, you're maybe thinking you're not going to get it could be like a new partner as far as business partner um you know it's almost like this is definitely what they're saying they're just saying that maybe your resistance is not allowing this gift to come in maybe your actions are not allowing this gift to come in as far as a gift meaning your wish fulfillment to be in that right partnership whether this is love or business you know um you have to take it as um, as it resonates for you because it's a general reading. Uh, but I feel it can go either way if it's love or business for you. But it's almost like you're not taking that action because you're hung up on something. Is this something that, um, you know, with the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles, either you're learning to, to like, uh, they say finance. You're learning to um, finance your money, um, budget your money. Budget your money is, is what they're saying. Are you trying to budget your money? Are you trying to change about your materialistic ways? Are you being held on to something that is like you feel like you can't get out of it? Like, um, like you're stuck, like you're stuck there, like you have to be there. Is, is this something that you're trying to overcome? Is this what the d dilemma is with the hangman? Are you not able to move to this new gift, this thing that you're wishing for because you're being held back by something else, an, an old commitment, perhaps? Um, I want to know what is temperance in reverse? What is temperance in reverse? It, it's almost as if you feel the notion to move forward and you have whoever this is, is a very intellectual person and very um, intuitive, but perhaps they don't quite know that yet, you know? Because once you do your shadow work and you release a lot of stuff and you continue to do your meditation, you continue to, um, you know, build more on your spirituality, you start to realize you're capable of a lot of things. You're capable of attracting things with law of attraction. But is it almost as if you, you, you feel it? But because it's in reverse, it's almost like you're, you're questioning it. Is it because you 
just don't know these feelings. It's it's very interesting. Um, so what came out is the Princess of Pentacles. Uh, you wanna you wanna communicate with something. You got the Princess of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. You definitely are in this state of maybe you're in a conflict between one situation and another. Meaning you could be at point A, but you want to get to point B. And there's something there that is not allowing you to. But it's because you're not deciding. It's almost as if you got to give up. You, you got um, you to gotta stand up and fight and make that choice. Because once you do that choice, once you make that choice to go to point B, everything's going to get better. There's a new beginning here. There's there's almost a sense where you have to sort of convey things. And that's the hold up. That is the hold up. That is the power. That is what they're trying to tell you is you hold your power. Whatever it is, whatever situation it is for you, whether it's love, business, family, and you're not speaking up for something, it's holding you back from getting this Ace of Cups. That's the best way I can tell you. And, and what they're really trying to tell you is that use that power, use that voice, make a decision. Um, don't go back on that decision. Even if it means that you have to somehow go over people. Um, what does that mean? It means um, you could be in a situation where you're with some kind of person or a family, something in your environment. It's almost as if they don't quite listen. Um they don't quite listen to you so you have to sort of have that louder voice to be able to quiet them down um i feel like you're in an argumentative kind of environment for some of you and it sort of makes your skin crawl you know like um uncomfortable uncomfortable because i feel that you are a peaceful person but yet you're in a situation that is causing a lot of conflict um and i think that that is what is holding you back from having this two of cups and there's something here holding you back maybe it's your money maybe it's your materialistic ways maybe you're trying to let go of materialistic values to come back to this place um you know where you you meet somebody who is balanced either meet somebody who's balanced or return to somebody who is balanced um we'll we'll see what the rest of the reading is but i i do feel there's a sense of holding back is there an, do you feel like you don't have enough for this person that definitely could see as I lay down the cards, that's what they're telling me. Maybe you just don't, you don't, um, you don't have that courage. You're conflicted. You don't feel that you're good enough for somebody is what I feel here. And they're trying to tell you, you are wake up, put your crown back up. You have power. You have power. Okay. Enchantment. Oh my goodness. Okay. They want to come out. So there you go. you got, Holy crap, enchantment. And as I see the cards that came out with enchanted, enchantment, are you stuck in something like something that you feel so binded to? Like you just like enchanted, like maybe cursed or maybe just like you just can't move. Okay, like trance, like in a trance. Because look at that. You got the seven of swords. And in this deck, I love this deck because are you being tempted, tempted by something? Are you te being tempted by that money? By that material value maybe you're trying to go to somebody who's more not so material maybe someone who is more um uh spiritual or nice nice they say someone nicer you don't think you deserve them for some whatever reason you're tied to something that is um it could be dealing with money or it could be dealing with another person, another person that holds you back. Because here we have the Three of Swords, which is definitely, oh my God, so much heart pain, so much heart pain coming from this card today. Um, this could be a third party situation that you're involved with. This could be something that is a very hard breakup and you just can't get over it. Uh, this is also a sense of being separated from that person that you truly want to speak for but it's almost like the person in the middle will not listen will not let you go towards what it is that you want to because here you have the six of cups and and you can just totally see um you know if this is somebody that you've you've sort of um had a breakup with or maybe are in a third party situation it's almost as if you have to question yourself is this the right person for me um it's almost about making that right choice, I feel. Um, the Six of Cups 
it, it's very much where you want some kind of peace and harmony in your life. Um, I just feel it's almost like maybe you're stuck on somebody that you just can't get over with. Um, they said fast, a fast, um, just maybe something that happened between you and this person. It was very quickly, um, definitely something that, um, I feel that there's a sense of needing to choose. Okay. This could be you, or this could be your person. They need to choose. And in this, and it's almost like they sit there and sort of like, um, like, like a, a wallflower, like they're just pretty much sitting back and just watching everything and not taking any movement forward. But yet they're stuck in a place where it's very hard. Um, are you just enchanted by the materialistic stuff to somebody? But you're wishing to maybe go back into something that is happier. Something that is not something that um, you just somehow are settling for. Okay. Uh, Seven of Swords. That's a, that's a really sticky one. Uh, are you lying to yourself about uh, about this? Are you keeping yourself with somebody that you're pretending to be happy with, but you're really not? Um, there's the Six of Wands. So whatever this struggle is, you're going to have success. That's what the Six of Wands is. You're going to be able, either if this is a very hard breakup for you and you're going through the motions right now where you broke up with somebody and you wish so much to get back to them, that pain will subside because I see a lot of pain here. Um, so it will subside. You will be able to get over this person, okay? And that is for some of you. What is the Three of Swords? What is So maybe some of you had a really hard breakup, okay? Um, or maybe you're wanting to break up with somebody and you just don't know how to convey those words, okay? So for the Three of Swords is the Eight of Pentacles. And this is where you're working on telling this person. Maybe it's the third party that, you know what? I don't want to be with you. Or maybe I, I chose someone else. Or... Um, and it's almost like you're not taking that initiative to do something because you might not want to hurt somebody. And that's where that feeling is of maybe staying, maybe being complacent and staying with something and not being satisfied because you know you have to make a choice. Okay. What is the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups? Okay. Is there another... If, if there's another, um, what does that mean? Is there another, um, perhaps another chance? Somebody's asking, is there another chance with the Wheel of Fortune? I do feel with the Six of Cups, you can get back to happy. You can get back to that person that you truly love. Um, you know, and it has to be both sided. It has to definitely be a sense of both sided. You can't. Uh, just sit there and wait for something to come to you that's not uh, it's not going to come to you if that makes sense like someone's questioning if there will be a second chance I, uh, for the six of cups maybe a return of somebody the wheel of fortune is a yes guys for whoever's asking that um let's see here and then the four of cups so see whoever's dragging their feet they're going to have victory and success they will pull themselves out of dragging their feet and being somewhat complacent to a very nasty relationship or a very nasty job or just a very nasty family situation i do see something changing it's a very slow change it's very positive um with the wheel of fortune the six of wands and the the knight of pentacles so this is somebody who is taking their sweet time changing and deciding okay uh, what is the two of pentacles what is the two of pentacles here so um the ten of wands it's taken a while to t to let go of this um whatever the situation is that you you or your person is trying to let go of it's taken a long time because it's something that has been um somewhat occurring to them for a long time meaning it's something that they've been you've been on, on a cycle for a long time and it's caused a lot of stress there's been a lot of uh it, it's something very burdensome something that um it keeps you trapped i feel like it keeps you trapped with that enchantment i feel like you feel trapped there you know 
um, and you sort of have to break out of it. It's almost as if maybe you're, you're spending too much um, focusing on perhaps um, either negativity or something that is very stressful, very, um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's just something that you're focusing on that it just keeps going on. Um, but it is a 10, so that definitely means that perhaps maybe you're going to be able to put down this stress or this burden that you have, whatever it is for you. And I do feel with the kindred spirit, it's something in a form of family helping you or friends, okay? So you got the Queen of Cups and the Devil. Uh, this is definitely a very passionate connection. The Queen of Cups and the Devil, this is somebody... Okay, with the Six of Cups being there, it's almost as if you're with somebody else, but you're pretending to love them, but you really don't. You're with someone else and you're thinking about someone else. Does that make sense? That's what I'm getting here. Um, and, and that's the dilemma because you got a kindred spirit, you got a twin flame. And so this is definitely the, the change. The change of the reading is here where there is definitely the, the struggle here is that um, perhaps you're feeling stuck because you're not making this attempt to come back to your kindred spirit or making the attempt to make this a go. You know, if, if it's not something that you're separated from, you could be going through an argument, you could be going through a separation, but it, it's definitely something that's very attached to you. Uh, what is the devil? It, it's very passionate. It's very connected. Look at that. King, you see that? I'm telling you you guys i'm telling you it's amazing how one card will change the whole story but there is a very passionate connection here and that is what your kindred spirit is your your twin flame uh you got the queen of cups with the devil and the the king of cups so this is what i feel is aligned this is definitely a sense of you know i'm holding your cup and i'm looking at you i know i know who you are i know what you, what you are to me um, and so look at that. You got the page. I'm sorry, the the Knight of Cups. So there is some sort of new offer going to come in. It's just taking a long time. I mean, look at what you do have the Six of Cups, the, the Ten. Um, I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune and the the Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. So this there needs to be a release of that third party. You know, for some of you, it's releasing that third person. Or, or maybe your person releasing that third person. Okay. Let's see what's at the bottom. I'm just curious. Oh, yeah. The Princess of Swords. This is someone who could be very combative. That's why they're not moving. Um, because they're very combative. You can just see in the card. It's someone who might take all your power. Take all your control. Really cause you to perhaps even watch you. Perhaps watch your money. They might have even stolen your money so that you can't break free from them. How does that happen? <coughs> Excuse me. What I see is somebody who has either control all your money so you can't move around the way you want to or someone has stolen something from you that has to do with finance, okay? Or maybe you're just settling some sort of finance before you can move. Um, give me one with the King of Cups. King of Cups. Is this a recognition that you have a twin flame or that you have this kindred spirit? Is this something that you're finally recognizing? Um, you have, let's see, the three of wands. So perhaps maybe the delay is over. Perhaps maybe you waiting for this is over with the three of wands. It's almost as if you've been wishing for this. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for some sort of news with this. Um, it is in reverse. So perhaps maybe this is where... Ta-da! Out of the blue, something comes in. Okay, um, you got the death card, and that's definitely a sense of transforming, letting go of the the bad stuff. Okay, and then getting okay. So there it is with the six of pentacles. This is definitely something that both of you are lined up for. Um, and with the four of swords, this is some healing. Some kind of healing needs to happen, and when that healing comes in. Everything's going to start to blossom. Everything that was bad and, and sorrowful and melancholy and, and sort of a feeling of not uncertainty or is it ever going to come, it all sort of melts away. It all goes away and you start healing and you have a new beginning. And this is definitely a transformation, I feel. 
Three of Wands in reverse. Give me one for Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, so you have the Seven of Pentacles. See, you're going to reap what you sow. Seven of Pentacles is really manifesting. It's really believing in it. It takes me back to the very first card where they're saying it's almost as if this person, they want this cup. They, they want to come together with this Two of Cups. Um... And maybe it's just taken a little bit time to get free, you know, but it's something that has already started to form is what I was trying to get at with the seven of pentacles. It's something that you could maybe in this card. Yeah, she almost looks pregnant. It's like, you know, there's a waiting period, that nine month waiting period. That seed is growing. Whatever that seed is, it's growing. And you're, you, that's what you're waiting for. And it is in reverse. So I feel you don't have to wait too much longer for whoever this is. Okay. What is the peace card? What is the peace card? What is the peace card? Let's see here. Okay, so you have, okay, you got the judgment. So this is definitely a, of a, a new beginning. This is releasing all that stuff. Whoever this is, is doing the shadow work, okay? Perhaps both of you are letting go of all the old paradigms. This is definitely a sense of growing again. Um, a sense of following intuition and not knowledge. The King of Cups is really, and the Queen of Cups really are really people who are um, very in tuned, meaning they know stuff. Energetically, they know stuff, both of them. So I do feel like there's a sense there of a pull um, to each other because you know, 